Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Growing Pains, the number one podcast on planet Earth. If we say it, it becomes it, right? Yeah, put it out to the universe, manifest it. Yeah, so we are now self We're in manifesting, manifesting mode. We are self-proclaimed the best. We are. Oh, listen, you can call yourself anything you want. Yeah, awesome. Uh, how was your holiday? We're still there. We are still there. <laughs> I I see in our <laughs> in our holiday, we've had a fantastic time. We've soaked up the sun. Olive played in the sand, played yeah. in the sea. Yeah. Uh, I've snuck in a round of Dubai golf somehow, just with with the family. Yep. This I is reckon... more and more like a trip. It was a solo trip for you. If it's a solo trip for me. I would have taken us back to Portugal. <laughs> um, he wants to go indoors, snowing, skiing, whatever it is, golf. Do you know what's great about that place is there's just so much to do. Yeah. But people, a lot of people have said that Portugal is a good place for um, a holiday with kids. Really? Yeah, because there's no time difference and the weather's Quite like ironic, relatively isn't it? okay. Why? Portugal, holiday with kids. Yeah. It will hit eventually. Oh, Madeline McCann. There you go. Well done, you. <laughs> Come back with one less child. Yeah. It's great if you're wanting to reduce the size of your family. <laughs> That's not very nice to say. Um, I am absolutely starving. Starving, Marvin. What's your favourite food ever? Um, on the bad Korean. You really? Know it is. Like yeah. that's your actual favourite thing? That is, honestly. Like it started when I was working in the city. Mm. As everyone says, right? It's a cool saying, in the city. Yeah, when I was working in the city, mm. I found this little like back street kind of restaurant yeah. and it was um, Korean. Yeah. I really enjoy it. I can't say I've had a lot of the Korean menu though mm. to be like Korean is You my get the favorite. orange chicken, don't you? That's what you I get. I get soy and ginger yeah. and fried chicken on rice. Mm. But it's so good. Like it is so good. Yeah. What do you think my favorite food is? Pringles. Yeah. That's my favourite snack, though. Oh. I actually don't know what my favourite food is. It's quite a funny debate, really. What's my favourite food? My favourite food is... Hmm. I've gone off chicken recently. Yeah, but that wouldn't have been a fave anyway. I like rice. That's not a favourite. I think it might be. I really like rice. There's never not a time. Like, if you was to just offer me rice now, I'd probably eat it. I used to have rice and ketchup. Yeah, well, I've already told you this, didn't I? When I uh, lived by myself in Stratford, I used to get salt and pepper. Yeah, I used to get my yeah. Uncle Ben's, microwave it, salt and pepper on it, and just eat it. Because at that point, I was just eating to survive. I, listen, I like rice. I think it's nice as rice well. Rice is absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Big fan. Yeah. I don't know what my favourite would be. Yeah. I love a cheesy pizza. You know when it's like oh, proper like really? tomato -y base. Uh, thin though. It can't be like a thick crust pizza. Like, it has to be thin um, and it has to be cheesy. Really? Yeah. No, I'm not a pizza man, am I? No. You know that. I'm not a pizza man. Although, a meat feast. <laughs> What's yeah. that? Pizza? Yeah. Say meat, it? Meat feast. No, Pizza. Right. You want a piece of this dick? Yeah, well done. I clocked on too quick. You've been done there. <laughs> I was I was way too alert there. You just got schooled. I didn't get schooled though, you really, did it. I? You were meant to say the word pizza, but it's fine. Yeah, so uh, meat feast is is the one thing that I will go, oh, yeah, get out of my god. Yeah, oh, mate, I'm going to put you guys on from Prezzo. Is that where I get it from? Prezzo. Prezzo, they do a delivery special and it's like a Texan barbecue mm. um, pizza, but it's only available on delivery. Like, can't get it in, in the actual restaurant, but it's so good. Like, it's, if you've not had it, get it. It's so good. But you have to get the thin crust one. Yeah. You're giving energy right now. You're giving vibes. You're giving sorry, talkative. I'm trying to like. You're giving co-host. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to. I may uh, as well have a fucking talk with a lamp. I'm trying to eat. <laughs> Listen, you've ordered food. I haven't. I'm running on fucking gas and air at this point. I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm back in the room. Oh wow. What's your favourite drink? My God, what is something in my eye? What's your favourite drink? My favourite drink is the um, peach iced tea from Nando's. Really? The you know that. It's like really? fucking crack to me. I didn't like it when I tried it. No, but I listen, I love a peach iced tea if it's done right. Really? Yeah, and it's like £3.50. Like, it's actually extortionate. That is quite expensive. It's so for, expensive. For like 200 milliliter can. Not but. even. It's so small. Um, but yeah, and it's so good. What's I was going to shout them out on drink? Insta, but I didn't. 
What's your favourite alcoholic drink? Uh, I like a ma Malibu. Yeah. A Malibu and anything, really. Um, however, the wedding we went to, I was I was ill. You was ill? I was ill. Faith threw up. Yeah, quite a Faith bit hasn't well. thrown up in her. I, d I don't really drink, but the thing is, I wasn't even drunk, was I? Like, I was no. home, I was talking, I was I literally at the event, I wasn't drunk, and not at any point on the day did I feel drunk at all. Yep. I got home, I wasn't spinning, I wasn't doing anything, I just felt ill, because it was all day, like, you're just drinking, whatever. I just, like, just didn't feel well, so mm. I just did the two things. It's a lot of alcohol, like, I, I would... I know this is going to sound silly, but I would estimate we probably both drunk. About 17 drinks. Like close to a litre, if not more than of Malibu. Mm. We were cane in it. Yeah. And then like our last seven drinks were both doubles. So yeah. that's what? 50 millilitres times seven. That's 350 millilitres mm. just in the last seven drinks. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And, we, and, and there was no like water breaks in no. between that. So no. we were just getting busy. But yeah. it doesn't get you drunk. I, don't, I didn't feel drunk. I felt no. fun. I didn't feel I didn't drunk. even feel that. Really? No, not at all. Well, you're to, to the point where I thought, oh, I may as well switch to wine, but then I thought, no, because I'm definitely big trouble. going downhill. Yeah, that would have been real big trouble. Yeah, no one give me wine. Real big trouble. I'd go um, downhill fast. Yeah, so... Uh, I, don't, I love a uh, Dizzerano. 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 It's not got Z in it. Dizzerano. Dizzerano. That's how Spell it. my S is. Spell it. Dizzerano. Oh, spell it. D I S S A R O N O. What was that again? D I S S A R O N O. It's a runner. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's right, but <laughs> I think it's D I S A R A N N O. Then it's double O. Ah. Uh, oh, I can't tell you right or wrong. Sorry, we're just, just going to fact all. check it somewhere. Um, I was speaking to the boys earlier today. Yeah. I've got a real craving to like... Quaving. <laughs> what was that outburst? Did I say quaving? Did I? <laughs> cool. I'm quaving. so exhausted right got now. Real quaving. Uh, I, I've got a real craving... Quaving. ...to like be a sweaty little f***ing stinky gamer. I want to play Modern Warfare 2, man. He's, he's done with dad life. Wanna, he just, he's done with relationships. He's done with dad. I want to play. He wants to play games. I want to play Call of Duty again. But it, what I said to the boys is, it, you've never experienced this, but I, you'll never get that feeling back of prestiging or like s just something like that, man. Um, I wish I could get that feeling back, man. You know our kids will move out one day. I know. And you can do what you want. But it's not the same. Because I don't think most married couples it, speak to each other not, when, when they've not, done Faith, 15 it's, years. It's not the same. Want. It's not the same. You don't have like the group of three, four you're jumping on, fucking grafting, playing domination true. on a win streak. You're a lot of a lot of bloody newborns like that, right? Yeah, true. Once I was moved out, I'm really, I'm really, kids. my life set up right now, right? I'm getting worried wow. because oh, when, I'm like you're saying, when I'm 40 odd or whatever, oh, my toes, crop my toes out. when I'm 40 odd or whatever, Ugh. I'm going to have, a, Olive's going to be a teenager. We might have one or two more. Yeah. Who knows? And they're going to be, not grown ups, but they're going to be like at school they're or something like that. Be... So I'm just going to be out here <laughs> with yeah. time <laughs> yeah. to do things. Whereas the others might be raising like a two, three year old. Yeah. What? Come play golf. I can't. I've got the fucking little one. <laughs> Fuck off, wanker. Get out of the house. Should have been fucking shagging when I was. Yeah. No, you raised a valid point. Listen, they're going to be tired. I'm fucked. They're, they're <laughs> going to be fucked. so tired. Like, we're young. We're going to have to do tired. things together. We're going to have to do things together, aren't we? Why are you saying it like it's a chore? I'm not saying it like I'd it's love, a chore. Listen, I say every pod, I'd love to spend more time with you. Yeah. Well, we do. We do. So when, when we're fucking 40, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> I was actually saying that again to the boys today. I was like, when Olive go, does go to nursery or whatever, again, because we are blessed to be able to do what we do. You can take me on a date. Well, during, from 9am till like three, we've got time to actually do things together. Because mm. again, it is like... You, I'm just going to condition your brain now too. You have to get there for free. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. But what just I'm so you know that. But what I'm saying <laughs> so is, is like, there three. is that... There's that window of like, oh, do you fancy going out for lunch? Do you fancy doing this? Yeah. Well, we can actually do things. Yeah. Which would be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll see. Why are you doing that? I reckon you won't take me out. Well, just, I want to sit and play games in my pants. Yeah, I reckon that'll happen. This whole FIFA stage. Oh, it comes out, I'll get, it comes out, the new one, new one comes out tonight and I'm getting a code for it. Well, it doesn't actually come out tonight, but I'm getting an early code for it. <gasps> and it's not FIFA anymore. No. It's 
EA Sports FC 24. Wow. And they're paying me to go to an event on Thursday. That's a whole mouthful. Yeah. Go on. Mouthful. EA Sports FC oh. 24. Go on. EA Sports FA 24. <laughs> Still fucked it. <laughs> uh, new Call of Duty comes out too. Yeah. But again, it's just not the same. Have you ever played Call of Duty or anything? I've not played anything. Never? You've opened packs? Yeah, because cause you let me. No, but you, you did a... Uh, your, t- your first uh, claim my to fame first, on My TikTok. first ever TikToks that we're doing well was always football ones. Hugh coming to your room. So I think, message. had we not met, I'd probably still be on the football ground. Yeah, so Faith, Faith's first claim to fame on TikTok were mm-hmm. Hugh, a very young Hugh, <laughs> uh, run into her room and was like, Oh, Pat Messi! Yeah, that was like my first viral yeah, viral like, like, TikTok. Well, all right, whatever. So, yeah. Oh my God, I'm Pat Messi! And you know what's funny? I was never going to post that. Yeah. Never. But I saw that. Uh, and then you used to do uh, pronouncing FIFA players' names, didn't you? footballers' names, yeah, Which yeah, was yeah. quite funny. I enjoyed them yeah, ones. Yeah, they them got a lot of views as well. It's what I'm saying. I think I genuinely would have gone down the football kind of. Yeah. Because they're the only things that get views. We should, uh, we when with the new FIFA that comes out, we should do a pronounce this name and you keep the player. Like video. Sure. Yeah. Remember when you came to my house for a stream once and I was we was opening packs? Yes. Yeah. That's when I lived in London. Yeah, it was. I remember that. I missed. But you, well. you, you, uh, you've played GTA as well. You've done a race on GTA, and you can't keep the car straight. Yeah. It is quite funny. I, I, girls with controllers are quite funny. Yeah, but the thing is, right? You know the buttons. We don't know the buttons. No, but we try and. Teach I don't you know the what buttons. X does. Yeah, but you're teaching me a fucking nine at one go. But I always feel like this quite self intuitive, like trigger to go left, trigger to break. It's I like a handlebar. Like, dyslexia. That doesn't stop the. It takes a long time to learn. Does it? Yeah. So you don't want to play games with me? No, I said we'll get like Mario Kart and we'll and we'll sit once Olive's gone to bed, which is never. Um, <laughs> but we'll sit and we'll play Mario Kart and whatnot. Yeah. That'd be fun. The Wii Sports. Yeah. Um, no. Wii Sports would be funny. Yeah, but if just sit down. I'm not doing the whole get fit one. No, not the, no, not Wii Fit, but Wii Sports. I'll like the bowling. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tennis. Yeah. The boxing. I reckon I, I used to slap at fucking Wii Fit tennis. Do you know what? I was Wii actually Fit? really sad. Again, about. because when my childhood, I was never super well off. Mm. Um, I never had a Wii. And like my friends had Wiis. Yeah. And I never knew what it was like. So when I got, went around my friend's house and could play with a Wii, yeah. I was like, oh my God, this is so fucking sick. Really? Like I'm punching someone with this thing in my hand. <laughs> I was gassed. That's quite cute. I didn't get my Xbox or Xbox Live until I was in like year nine, I think. Yeah. Whereas everyone was already playing COD and had like yeah, party yeah, yeah. chats and stuff. I was like, oh my God, guys, I've got my Xbox and I've got Xbox Live. <laughs> Shout me. <laughs> yeah, it is quite cute, actually. We um we, we had a Wii and the, the memory I had was we was playing in my brother's room for some reason. Like my dad was in there as well. We was all like sitting on their yeah. bed, whatever, like all six of us, mum, dad, like brothers, me. Um, And my dad was like doing the bowling one and he put his arm back to bowl and whacked like Hugh in the head <laughs> and he was really crying had a big I mean. lump on his head it, it, it makes <laughs> it makes, it makes for some funny moments so that means there must be a wee in your house somewhere oh um, your dad ain't throwing a wee away oh my dad don't throw nothing yeah away. there's my not a chance like, your dad's throwing a Nintendo wee my away my dad will find like keep a screw and it'll be useful yeah. when he's like a hundred and he'll be like there's a reason I kept this screw yeah I like AK he's yeah, a resourceful he's a man. man he's, he's a good a... man but it's a, it's a little bit annoying though because we're throwing away like our um, we had these loads like, of shit in our house yeah, yeah so I done like massive clear out in our house didn't I mm. um, dishwasher is the doors not back on the we got kitchen cupboard doors we do oh, send the video to the editors <laughs> we've got kitchen cupboard doors and again I'll give you Shout credit out spray paint I'll Leicester give, yeah spray paint Leicester I'll give you your your credit I saw the vision I've seen it now. It looks good. The black covers look it looks really good. good. And when we put the new floor down, it's going to look good. It's going to look Yeah, we're getting a new floor. Yeah. I'm a bit upset they don't have it in like the uh, wood panel shade that we want. Mm. But so there's not much in. of a difference. So I thought that was um, delivery spamming me, but it wasn't. It's my brother. Yeah, there's not, there's, there's not that much of a difference. Um, I was like, no. Cause and I actually both... prefer the one that they do do in Herringbone. This is how like, hard it is to just organise with you because I laid out the two samples and you said you didn't like it. No, I didn't. You did. What, so you're telling me that they're... That was at our house as was a it? sample and oh, you right. said you didn't like it. Well, now I do. Okay. Well, that's good. And also, I, I would say we this also comes down that. to like, a geezer could just live in a white box with like a West Ham painting on the wall and be fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely fine by me. Yeah. 
I feel like you like to fine tune rooms and like. I do, I do. Yeah, every uh, like every influencer ever has got like beige and white theme. I'm mm. not about that, am I? No, I don't do beige and white. My ours is like blay, blay. Well, there's there is some white. It's not blay. It's grey, black, and white. So two of the three. <laughs> no, but it's like a fleck of white, isn't it? Yeah. It's not white. Yeah. Like nothing in our house is white at all. Nothing's beige. Yeah. Because someone commented on my TikTok before and they was like, oh, I bet you're a beige mum. And I was like, sorry. No, we're not. Our house is colourful at no, all. The, from what I've seen, Molly May's household is beige. It's very beige. That's like beige, pastel beige. Yeah. <laughs> Just beige. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you are, you've had a phenomenal week. I have. And the house is so clean. It's lovely. So... Big congratulations to you. Thanks. Like, it would, listen, by the way, our house would always be clean if we had fucking 50 square metres of house. Yeah, yeah. It is big. It's, it's and fucking I, I, ridiculous. And what I brought up the other day, we haven't we haven't even unlocked the full potential of the house. No, we haven't. We because, still don't use two of our rooms. Yes, the two spare rooms we don't use and they're this just is, full of shit. This is it? why I don't get why people buy like humongous houses. Yeah. What are you using the rooms for? I suppose... Uh, we've got a five bed house and we don't use two of the rooms at all. We've been living there nearly two years. Yeah. Huh? 20, we got the keys in December 2021. So we've had the house like around two years. But just not lived in it. Yeah. But, and we've still not used two of the rooms. No. I'd like to turn one of them into like a, a golf simulator. <laughs> yeah. I do jo- actually think you should make use of the end of the garden where the Astro turf is, like the end of the Astro and do something down there. Yeah. I could get a proper golf cage, but there, that's a bit ugly. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about anything ugly. What do you want I mean, down like- there then? Like you can do like a plunge pool. Yeah, I want to do that. That's what I want to do. And I had a company email me. Oh, really? Can do I do both. a little pool as well? Because I do want a pool. I'm not having a pool. Why? We're I not having a big. We've got a, uh, got a hot tub. I know. Yeah. I'm a pool. <laughs> no. Um, so, yeah, the house is lovely in a minute. Yep. Stop, uh, please. I'm getting stop. fidgety and. Yeah, play with that. Thanks. Pass it. Cheers. Um, Ah, oh, Tyson Fury and Paris had their baby. Yes, a boy. Little boy. A boy. Yeah, Did yeah, they yeah. know what it was beforehand? I don't know. Oh, I How thought. Was I, know? I thought you might. I, d- I don't see much about. I didn't see much about her pregnancy at all. I only knew about five weeks. I literally she just had saw it. his I think post. She's so used to just having babies, like, it's like oh, I'm pregnant. No, it's just like I literally just life. saw his post that said he's here and he's perfect, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah, love it. Yeah, used to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what the sixth, seventh, seventh. I think they've already got six now. Venezuela, Prince. Adonis. Adonis. I don't know. There's there's a couple. There's three boys at the minute and one girl. Two girls. Two Venezuela. Girls? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and okay. Valencia, right? Yeah. So it might be five. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So this will be the sixth, I think. Okay. But yeah, fair dues, man. I, I would hope that I end up with a boy at some point. I said that, didn't I? You think I'm a girl dad, though, don't you? I really think you're a girl dad. Sorry. Um, I, I think if if you genuinely... Had three girls in a row. Yeah. Would you honestly try for one more? No. You wouldn't. You'd just be done. I'd like Olive to have a sister next, purely because I've got three brothers. So yeah. I, it just makes yeah. sense. If we know we want three babies, um, then we have two girls close together. They can do what they want. Because there's no point having a girl and then a boy and then a girl. Boys are good at just doing solo shit, man. It's what I'm and they, once a boy gets their group of mates, they're cushy. Yeah. They're cushy. What would you do though if we had our next pregnancy fine, but then our third pregnancy was uh quadruplets. Um four babies. I would triplets. That's what I was meant to say. Fucking now that word did not come to me quick. I, would, I was gonna say three babies. I would seek mental help. Would you? Yeah. And what would you do if they was all girls? I would seek further mental help. <laughs> I think I'd have to have a therapy every so week. we'd have five cows. I'd have to have a therapy every week. There's not a chance. I can't do that. <laughs> can't do it. Dad, let me show you this dance. No, Dad, I only dance. Look. Dad, can you paint my face? <laughs> Chances are your boy would want to dance if he's got five, five yeah, sisters. Yeah, true. You're not wrong, yeah. Um, I just feel like girls get very like... They're going to go through like a bratty, bitchy stage as well with each other. I've No. I've, I've, I've seen two sisters before. I know it's Ag. Not me, by the way. I don't have no, I mean, like, I've seen a two... Yeah, but you've yeah. also seen my brothers and how annoying they are. Hugh and Love Leon, you, Hugh and Leon are bicker. hilarious. Yeah. Connor, then, no, I feel not... like girls, it's different, it's different for girls because once you're over there, oh my gosh, she took my makeup, oh my gosh, she took yeah. my clothes, so, so annoying. The, like, the bond is just better, Yeah, I'd say. You reckon? Yeah. 
You the, talk about the shit. brothers. There's stuff you that I would shit. talk about with my brothers, but yeah, I would true. talk about with yeah, my sister. Yeah. No, that's that's a valid point yeah. you bring up. Yeah, it's a valid point. Yeah. yeah, your brothers are hilarious, man. It's the it's the pettiest shit. It's so petty. It's the stupidest shit. I but, just I just love like jumping on the bandwagon with them. Yeah, you like, wind if, them mom, up. if mum's telling them off, like, Hugh, why did you do this? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, Hugh. That's did crazy. You not think about what yeah. you was doing. Like the other day, they <laughs> was uh, deeper. The other day, they was up our house doing a bit of painting. Yeah. And uh, your dad left uh, Leon in charge of essentially one side of the fence. <laughs> your dad was telling me apparently when he when he was walking away, Leon went to Hugh. See that? Look who he left in charge. And I was yeah. like, it's always like a, it's like a tit for tat thing. Yeah. It is funny. Like even when they get in the car, they're like shotgun, whatever. Yeah. And then yeah. um, my dad called me like as soon as he got to our house, like to do some work, he was like, he called me. I'm like, you're right. And I was like, you can come in the house for a cup of tea or whatever. And he was like, no, no, just calling you to walk away from the boys. I've been here two <laughs> minutes and they're already arguing. I need to get away from it. It <laughs> is very funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. Should we move on to some fan dilemmas? Sure. Can you do it? Because my phone's on 5%. Mm-hmm. I, 23 male, and my girlfriend, 22 female, have been together for almost five years now. She recently started working for a big IT company after finishing her college, and I went on to further studies. As this is the first time she has got her own money, she likes to buy stuff for me. I do not have a problem with her earning money and spending on herself or me, but some of the people I work slash study with make stupid comments about this all the time. Again, I do not have a problem with her earning more than me. She's way smarter than me, and I always knew she would earn twice as much as me. How to tell people to mind their own business politely, or how can I not let this stuff not bother me too much? So you're a male, your missus is earning more. She's the breadwinner. Yeah, and I assume all your friends are male with this fucking small dick energy. And you are, yeah, 23. So this is what I'm saying. Like, it's just, it's just you classic. are young, you've got young friends. It's classic misogynic men. Misogynic. Misogyny in men, where it's like, Men have to earn more, blah blah blah. Well, you Listen, they a, don't earn as much. You come from a household where your my mum earns. Your mum still works. My mum's a breadwinner. Yeah, exactly. So you come from. She a does well. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So you come from a a family of a, a woman breadwinner, which mm-hmm. is quite cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I fucking I got no problem with it. I implore you. Yeah, he does. So I implore I, I did, you to run your bag up, man. I know. So I implore. <laughs> All ladies out there to get their bread up, man, because... But it makes, it's harder for women, isn't it? Is, it is, yes. But it makes life easier because for Because me. men get given more money for doing the same jobs. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I actually think, yeah, if you're doing the same jobs and men get paid more, give us our week off when we get our period. It's Genuinely, because if you're going to earn more you for doing the same fucking home. shit... No, I'm not fucking working. <laughs> I've got bellyache. <laughs> You're earning more. You pick up the fucking slack for my week off. You're already getting given praise. Valid point. I could I could stand behind it. You're already getting given imaginary praise for doing something better than a woman. So give us our fucking time to rest, seeing as you're so great. Um, like you said here, that it doesn't bother you. So you said, how can I not let this stuff not bother me too much? Just call your friends fucking idiots. Yeah, mindset. Because yeah, They're just jealous. You've Why already they said, probably don't have girlfriends? <laughs> you've already said, I don't care. Yeah. So you're already on the right side of it. Yeah. Um, and at the end of the day, you are just getting nice things. And again, I think as well, like, it just don't, in future, don't tell people what you earn. I, yeah. think, I think that's the key to it. Like, no one has to go around and be like, oh, like, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I feel like I ain't eating weeks. Yeah, thank you. No one has to go around and be like, oh, look, I own this and she owns this. Like, keep your money private, I guess. I just think just don't let it bother you. If you yeah, say it, don't it, let it, it bother you, it then bother don't you. Um, shrug it off. It's your friends that are just being the idiots. And at the end of the day... Friends in quotation marks, I yeah. will say, because if they're willing to, like, dig at you for petty stuff, then hmm. friends in quotation marks, I'd yeah, say, and, not at that At the end great. of the day, you're being treated nice. Oh, less than a minute away. Oh. Probably. Hi, Ethan and Faith. My fiancé, 25, female, and I, 24, male, have been together since the start of this year. Everything is perfect, which is why things have been moving so fast. But we have been getting into arguments recently over different opinions to do with the meaning of life. She believes in a spiritual thing such as ghosts and high power... And I have a more scientific viewpoint. We bump heads over this as like when she says she has seen a ghost and I think there's no way she's just seeing things. And after having this reaction, she gets annoyed that I am not choosing to stand by her opinions. She is very opinionated and believes what she believes is 100% and I am the same. What should we do to avoid bumping heads on this so much, especially since we are both so confident and that what and that's what we believe is right? Right. 
This one's quite funny to me. It's <laughs> very funny. This one's quite funny. How is this serious? Because although the question is like the meaning of life, yeah, the issue that you've brought to us... I believe in ghosts, you don't. ...is such a trivial, like... It, in a grand scheme of your relationship, if you both love Does each it other matter? Yeah. and you crack on... It doesn't matter if, if like, you believe in energies and crystals and ghosts and all that stuff. I don't. I laugh at you for it. Yeah. But... It's no more than that. Exactly. If that makes you happy... And, and if you wanna... think you're dead in the ground and that's it, and I say, yeah. you horrible, miserable bastard. Exactly. <laughs> but at the I end say, of the you're day... not coming back, and then it never goes more than that, does yeah. it? But at the end of the day, we love each other, and there's way more positives that outweigh the negatives. And by the way, by the sounds of things... If things have moved that quickly, then you both are happily in love with each other. Yeah. Yeah, we moved quick, didn't we? Yeah, exactly. And we're, and we're fine. Yeah. Much Look, to the shock of everyone else. <laughs> yeah, everyone else will say, they're just saying that because uh, cause they have to. They, they've seen the mean comments. Yeah, yeah. No, we're all right, man. Yeah, I mean, we're not the ones arguing about gay, so... Well, that's not very nice to shit on them like that. <laughs> that's not very nice. They're engaged. Are they? Yeah. Did you they not did read that? I did read it. They, but... they got together at the start of the year and they're engaged already. That's what I mean. They're moving quickly. Fiance. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does say fiance. Yeah. So. Listen. They've been cooking. It does, even if you like end things off, like it's such a, wow, why did you break up? Oh, she believes in ghosts. Yeah. Like I just, uh, scientifically, they don't exist. So we woke up. Why don't you try and get on her side and go to a haunted house, like an old hospital or something, like ghost tour? I'd shit myself. I could never do one. Really? I could never. Listen, I believe, and I believe there is other life. I don't want to see it or hear about it. You though. don't want to see it or hear it? No. If a ghost comes in, it will fuck my shit up. <laughs> and people are like, oh, like, or mediums or whatever, they're like, they won't hurt you. They're like, they're fine. They can't touch you. But I don't care. That's scary as fuck. Don't knock something off my window. I'll cry like a little bitch and run out. I'll sell my house. Don't fucking do it. Well... Do you know what's good? Mm. And I get sleep paralysis. I, mean, I used to go for a really bad stage oh, so sorry of getting um. Then, yeah. No, oh my god, I'm just not what I was saying. I was get, I was, <laughs> I was gonna get um, um. No, I was going for a really bad stage when I was younger. When I was about nineteen, I'd say of continuously getting sleep paralysis, and so that makes me believe a bit. Because when I used to say like nothing, and I mean nothing, like medically or whatnot, would help the paralysis and falling out of it. The only thing that helped me, and I did look into like spiritual readings and stuff, was to say you're not scared of them. Right. And the only things that would make me fall out of my paralysis was saying I'm not scared of you, and you have to say please and thank you, like please leave me alone, and it works. So obviously, there's something fucking me up. And you'd say it's all medical. I'd say I'm a sane person who doesn't need help. Was it Abraham Lincoln? Psychologically, no. Have we that, told the Abraham Lincoln story? Yeah, we have. And I, I had um, glandular fever and almost died. So I'm glad it's really funny to <laughs> Almost lost my life. So I was hallucinating. And I didn't ever say it was Abraham Lincoln, by the way. I just said I was seriously, seriously ill. I had a like, temperature of like 42 degrees. Um just after having tonsillitis which then turned to glandular fever um, and I used to have the loft room mm. um, and then I, I, like, I was up all night obviously hallucinating like talking to like, um, a spirit in my doorway and I had to do an, like something I had to name something I can't tell you exactly what it is I can't remember it was such a long time ago um, I had to do something like corresponding with the alphabet so with each letter of the alphabet A to Z and then I woke up but there was a man in a top hat and a long coat standing in my doorway like obviously directing what we were saying to these voices essentially so yeah I was seriously ill went to and then I was hospitalised for like two weeks happy you're here hmm? happy you're here uh -huh. you made it I did and you're yet to see Abraham again mm -hmm. I wouldn't like to though huh wouldn't like to no I wouldn't like to see him it'd be quite odd mm. um are you happy mm -hmm. is that your happy food dance mm -hmm. what did you get what's that I don't know what these are I think they're like shrimp guys or something or duck Oh, right. Or beef, I don't know. Sure, you know what's in them. No, I just click guys. I'm not. I'm not being funny with you. Um, I just wanted something that wasn't going to make that much noise. That's why I moved away though, because it was a little bit slurpy. This is one of the funniest what, podcasts what? ever, by the way. Huh? Oh my god! Both uh, Talia and my best friend told me that I say too much on this podcast. It is. And by the way, don't twist that. Talia didn't tell me off or say anything. Should I yeah. read the message? It's it. It's a TMI podcast, that's for sure. But I feel like. It's right, we're going to get views. I was about to say, I've been recognised... If we're platonic and like, oh my God, Ethan, I love you so much. I like, thank you so much for like, I got, just being there for yeah. me. And then we say nothing. I've been recognised, right? What's a shit by, podcast? Like, <laughs> just random adults in petrol stations because of this podcast. 
that don't actually really know that I'm Bazinga from the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. They know me off of the couples pod. Yeah, and people which know me. Which is quite me funny because I reckon... For giving blowjobs when he scores a goal. I reckon we've now got like an audience of people that actually just like seeing... It's a, just a normal couple. Mm. Like, yeah, we probably shout at each other every now and then, like every couple, by the way. Mm. Yeah, we probably have little irks here and there. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we love each other. Defo shrimp. Um, I was going to say, like like you say, like about not being like a sideman audience, because a lot of people say, like, oh, I love your podcast, like, love your podcast. Like, if, um, people, it's obviously older people mm. on the podcast and it's the younger people with the hate coming through, like, like with the TikTok clips, mm. like they clip that so well to make you look like a dragon. Although I will say, um, like it's it's, a, it's different ages of like, oh my god, this isn't what a relationship mm. is. Whereas older people, like ha ha ha, love that. I feel like so, so relatable. Many, <laughs> so many people that watch the podcast hoping for us to fail as well. Oh, 100%. Which is quite funny. So please keep tuning in, rate it five stars, keep commenting. Exactly. I'm here for it, bro. Yeah. There'll, there'll be another episode next week. <laughs> so, <laughs> And we will be being paid for it. <laughs> yeah, you be there. Um, <laughs> well, we're, we're a bit what's the next dilemma? Um, no, one sec. Let me not shit stir on Talia here. Let me... Um, what did she say? Oh, yeah. She um, sent me a TikTok. Hmm. And then she said, every time a, um, a clip from this damn podcast comes up, Miss Faith, I have a panic at what I'll hear next. <laughs> OMG, the end of this clip knocked me off my seat. Ha, ha, ha. And it was the clip where it was like... Um, Oh, I ain't never heard you make a sound like that from eating as I do a play job. <laughs> I just think a little bit of outrageousness is good. It is funny. I think it's funny. I don't think I'm TMI. Like when my bestie was like, um, Faith, I think, oh my God, you shouldn't have said that. I'm like, but why though? Because I think I'm tame. No, you're not tame. I think I'm, compared to what I would usually speak as. No, you aren't, you're unhinged. I don't have a filter. You're unhinged. Uh, what, but what I, I don't even is know like, what that means. Unhinged? Is, I'm like a, I'm a very open person. I always have been. Yeah. So like... You can have the convo. And I think you're open as well. So yeah. like, if you're if you're okay with that, then no one's got any fucking issue to have with it. Like, mm. we're both just very open people. Mm. It's fine. Mm. Mm. Oh, this was amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Maybe he does make the same noise as Playjobs. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was fantastic. I'm really conscious I'm giving ASMR for like eating right now. I've got my feet out and I'm making slurpy noises. This what I'm saying. D this fucking... podcast episode is hilarious. This one's going down in the history books. Yeah. Double episode because we realise we're going on holiday. Last minute, double ep recording. Yeah. Professionalism. <laughs> Absolutely fucking starving. Yeah. We are so Brain hungry. fog. Yeah. Um, but we're getting the job done and hopefully you guys are still enjoying listening. Yeah. Right. Do I confront my boyfriend, me, 17 female, and my boyfriend, 18 male, have been dating for two years and he is one year older than me and has just started going out clubbing, in brackets, a lot, cool. and is starting to see me less. I feel like now, wherever we do see each other, it's just to have sex. I was supposed to see him the other night. He messaged me saying that he couldn't come over and he was tired from work and I just wanted to stay home and watch TV. At the time, I thought nothing of it. Later that evening, I was scrolling for Instagram and spotted his mate, had posted a video of him at a club with loads of girls i've never seen and doing shots and straight away i started crying and felt sick what do i do confront <laughs> sorry confront him or just stay quiet and stay safe in a relationship <gasps> oh and the, the crying and frying up part just cracks me up like what? no hate towards you it's just a classic girl reaction screaming crying frying up hate Is it? That. have you done that uh with my ex yes not ever with you no yes get in yeah um I was a very emotionally, like, fucking wild. Yeah. I was, like, 18, though. Yeah, well, this is the same age, right? She's 17, he's 18. Yeah, true. No, listen, girl, it's not going to be your last relationship. Don't worry about it. Just do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Just do what you want. Yeah. Is that your advice for this one? Yeah, first relationships are fucking awful. They're but always a in lesson. The, in the present, it always feels like this is the end of the world. Oh, my God, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. I think it's so easy to, like... I was having this conversation the other day. Mm. Who was it with? I was saying, I think it's so easy to What's not that? cheat. Oh, yeah. Like, 100%. it's the easiest thing mm. on planet Earth to, d to not do. However, when you're 18, Mal, I would say, to be fair, girls are a lot worse now, but I'd say back when we were, well, right. I'd say back when I was 18, because you were 18 before me. It's as me easy too. to cheat as it is easy to not cheat, is yeah. what? Yeah. 
but like, listen, if you don't want to be with your partner, don't be with them. them. Yeah. Just tell them. Just say, listen, I'll tell you what, this ain't for me. But then go and lips whoever you want. A lot of 18 year old relationships, because she's still 17, they've not probably just come enough. out of school. Yeah. No, not about mature. They're probably all in the same friendship groups because yeah. a lot of people have relationships in the friendship groups. So if you break up, that's a friendship it's group awkward. dynamic yeah. Yeah. gone. So do you know what I mean? But then going out and spending time with different girls in clubs, that's fun. That's new. What a great experience. Mm. I'd say if you're 17, you're not that far behind him. If you're really that upset about it, when he goes, you can just follow him soon. <laughs> that's mental. What? That's toxic. That's really creepy. You said you didn't cheat on me. Well, guess what? I'm behind you. Yeah, you're 17, 18. It's not the end of the world. Screaming, crying, throwing up. And it just just remember, again, toxic. When you're 18, you can go out and film what you want in the clubs. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Getting lit in the clubs. Or just do that, the classic. Have you seen the TikToks where you get your best friend to like dress up in like a boy's hoodie and then you just post like... like them eating like you're on a date or something this and they pretend to be advice. the boy. What? This is not good advice. But it's is, fun when you're 18. No, this is toxic I can never female. do that now. This is toxic femininity. No, he's out with girls in clubs, probably catching wines. No way. Did it say anything about women out there? Or was yeah. it just out in clubs yeah, with Yeah, it said friends? out, out with, with girls who don't know. Ah. Uh, yeah, maybe then. Yeah. Have a little fun yourself. But I would just say, like, not a lot of relationships when you're 17 or 18 last. A lot of your first very relationships rare, yeah. are lessons to move forward it's to your next rare. successful very, one. Very rare. But, yeah, whilst you're at it, the advice from a nearly 30-year-old man is, uh, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> you're yeah, gonna, you're you will be, all be right. fine. Yeah, you're not going to need to scream or cry or throw up. So. No, but coming from a girl who has been there. Scream, cry and throw up. <laughs> no. Make him jealous. Or just wait outside the club. That's so odd. What? Whoa. That's so weird. I've actually never done that. No, I haven't. I've never, I've never done that. So weird, man. Go for his following. You can't even do that anymore. Even that's weird. No, it's not. It is weird. Again, not speaking as a nearly 24-year-old woman and mother. I'm speaking as my 18-year-old past self. So weird. No. Yeah. You've got a disloyal boyfriend, as did I. You... <laughs> What do you expect? It's not me, by the way. No, uh, 18 year old self. I wasn't with you at 18. Let's play a game of wavelength. <laughs> Closing my eyes. Show the viewers what number you are holding up. This is the game I created. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm also going to I'm gonna close my ears and whisper into the mic. Yeah, you ready? Go run to the other side of the room. Right. It's going to be a really sensual whisper. Right, I've got my hands on my ears as well. Okay. Two. Okay, come back. Good, come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a good test, that one. I like that. Right. Uh, if it gets it first time, it's cheated, by the way. Oh, whatever. Um, all right. Uh, you can ask five questions. I can ask five questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fizzy drink. Ooh. Grape cream soda. Grape cream soda. Yeah. They do them like the little cans with the little monkey. But grape flavoured. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Really? Yeah. Oh, you've thrown me. Um, it's the point of the game. All of my shoes. <sighs> uh, fish flops. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, I will ask. Um, 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 chocolate bar, lion bar. You're cheating. I'm not. I'm not. You're cheating. like throwing me all over the gap. <laughs> <laughs> You're going nuts. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going to ask. Your horses. Oh, that's not fair. Mm. <laughs> what an unfair question. Kelly. It's so it's not one. No. We've got one more question. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to ask. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mmm. Packet of crisps. Mmm. Ah. Um, the, the Thai sweet chili. Really? Mm-hmm. It's two or three. What am I going for? Oh, God, oh, would, there's not a chance that you've said fish flops are f correlate with a three. There's no way. Or you could have, because these are probably a one, and the fish flops might be a three, but I don't... Two. Yes. Yes! Get in! Was I right? Yeah, you was Oh, right. amazing. Um, by the way, I love Kelly. Just say, I could, she couldn't say Dora, because you'd know. Yeah, true. You'd instantly yeah. know. But I knew that you thought... That's how I knew that your brain was working that way. Yeah. Because I knew realistically That's already it was probably going to be Dora, yeah. Can I oh, play? Can, do you want to play? Yeah, I went around. Oh, right, go on then. Close your eyes. And ears. Well, yeah. I've only got one ear that works anyway, so right. I really won't hear it, just saying. All right, close your eyes. Six. All right. Let's play. Sure. I hope people have got the concepts of the game, by the way. We never yeah, explained so it. Essentially, person puts their head down, you pick a number, they then get five questions or however many people you're playing with to ask for something that correlates to what you would think that is. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, for example, if you was to ask me, say the number was 10 and you asked me chocolate bar, I would say white Kinder Bueno. Mm. There you go. Yeah. That's the, an example. Yeah. All right. So... Oh, yeah, I asked the questions. Yeah. Um, type of sport. Type of sport. Yes. Sir. It's quite difficult. Hmm. I am going to say UFC. Okay. You quite like that. Quite like a bit of the old kicking. Yep. Kicking and hitting. Um,. Type of boat. Type of boat? Yes. What the fuck? What? what type of boat? Yeah, so you went from UFC and now I'm thinking of Con Conor McGregor's Lamborghini fucking speedboat. Not that. Uh, oh, interesting. I'm going a recently refurbished fishing boat. Wow. Well, I wouldn't have put them in the same same boat. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> For you? All right. You quite like UFC. I have to watch it. I hate it. Um, makes me cringe. Too violent for your sweet mm, little eyes. I, I don't like it. Um, type of Pringles. Type of Pringles. Yeah, like colour. It's a good question. Sour cream and onion. Oh, that's a hit for me. I've heard, I've heard Brody go... <gasps> Yeah, I love those. Um, well, if you knew my Pringle order, if you knew my Pringles traffic light, then you'd have an easy sort of... You like ready salted, you like prawn cocktail, Texas barbecue. Do you not like any of them? No, I'm just, I'm, I'm desperately trying to not give you anything. Okay. Um, How many, is that third question? Yeah, you've got two more. Sure. Um... <laughs> Type of pet. Type of pet. Mm -hmm. Fish. <laughs> you said you wanted a fish the other day. Fish. You wanted a fish the other day. He's throwing me all off. Um, <laughs> let's make this last one worth it then. <laughs> Household chore. Household chore. <laughs> but is this like... Like is ten that you'd have to do is ten the easiest like or is like how we were scaling it is ten like the easiest chore that I'd like to do or is one like no where you'd just rank this chore if you had to do it if I had to not do out it. of ease just if you had to do it where would you rank it this chore not where would you rank it because you're telling me the answer but you know what I mean it's a bit of a shit question oh sorry. That would just be a game changer for me. All right, do you want me to change my question? Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to give you the right answer. Type of ice cream. All right, okay, now we're cooking. Um, I 
the one that's got all three in the tub. Oh, Napoleon. Neapolitan. Neapolitan, yeah. What would you call it? Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> Neapolitan, there you go. Four. No. Oh, fuck. I rushed it. It was six. Six? Yeah. There's no fucking way you're saying an old refurbished fishing boat. No, I didn't boat, say old. I said newly refurbished fishing boat. Which was old before uh, it got refurbished. But think about it. I like fishing. You've never been deep sea fishing and behind from another fucking Simon video. And when you have, you say, oh, we'll fucking shit down. But I like... Fi- no, I don't. I really enjoyed that, though. Okay. It's just there wasn't many fish. Right. <laughs> but I do like fishing. Uh, UFC, I rate four sports more than it. Football, boxing, golf, UFC. So it works out as six. And you said a fish was at a six? Yeah, because like I could do without it, but... <laughs> I'd like a fish. <laughs> he actually said this the other day. He said he wanted a fish. Fish are like... I've had fish two times in my life. I mean, he called them fishes. Fish? That's not a word. Fishes. It was like, come and get some fishes. Um, it's, yeah, because XQC, XQC cut into the uh, to the buffet and went, yo, is this fishes? It was the funniest shit ever, man. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so like, I've always, I've always enjoyed... It's my little autistic side coming out. I've always enjoyed like there being a cool fish tank in a room or something. Yeah, but do you know how much effort they had to no, I know. That, no, I cried when my fish died. This, I named it, fish? I, yeah, I named it after my first boyfriend. I called it Scott. <laughs> so <laughs> I... And then it died. I, that's the one thing. If you are... Again, now I'm older and I take care of things. Maybe uh, I'd be a bit more inclined to actually take care of it. But it does get long. Like the minute you, you see... You wouldn't do it because I'm like, babe, can you do a dishwasher? Yeah, also, in the morning. Can you clean the tank? So yeah, the in the morning. Is, cold water fish, piece of piss. Yeah. It's when you want the cool tropical ones that you get the issue. Yeah. Because you've got to have the heat or you've got to have the pH. got to have the pH. All for these fucking little fish. So you should put those in a hot tub? No. Strongest survive. No. Uh, my mum actually told me to put um, fish in the horse... Water troughs. Water they troughs. They eat the algae, yeah. Yeah, they eat the algae, but then I said, no, mum, because when it freezes over in winter, and also a the lot Pringles, of death on my hands. Pringles traffic light. Red, blue, brown, green. Blue, salt and vinegar. Yeah. I love them. They're so aggressively salt and vinegar. Like, they hurt. <laughs> Maybe I that's that. like, I don't like them. They cut yeah, my tongue. No, but I like the aggressiveness of them. Really? Yeah. So, red, blue... Purple, green. I've got my feet. Just out. Trotters out. No, the, the rubbing thing. Been doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, feet people have had a freebie, yeah. They've, they've had such a fucking hit with this. Like, we may content. as well make people pay for this podcast. Yeah, but there's been rubbing my feet all over. The footcast. Yeah, um, my feet are going to end up on Twitter. Or I feel like They're actually ugly feet as well. I've got long toes. I feel basically. like we're talking nonsense now. Do you want to round it up? It's been a pleasure talking to you on another fine week of the Growing Pains podcast. Please remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like this podcast right now. As Look, you, I'm just trying to get like you. As you're listening. If you're on Spotify or any audio platforms, please remember to rate it five star. Follow it so you're aware of all the new episodes coming out. And also, a brand new one coming. F- get involved with the Insta channel. There's a new thing where it's essentially like a... It's like a group DM, almost like a bulletin board where we can get members in and just post things in there. Oh, Yeah, so it's a new Insta feature. Make sure to become a member of that. Yeah, check it out. The fellas have already got 13,000 members, so Ooh, let's, let's try and... let's beat the fellas. It will be tough. Let's beat Cousin Freezy. It will be tough. I people are saying we're not cousins. Yeah, it's them teeth, mate. It's in the family. What can I say? <laughs> um, so please... Uh, join the things remember send us any dilemmas any questions yeah any words you'd like us to spell yeah any games anything yeah so thank you very much for tuning in to another episode it's been a pleasure and we'll see you guys next week are freshly off of a holiday yeah bye jeez bye